In this video, I will show you how to create some backing harmonies to your vocal track using the new multi shifter effect in BandLab. So, to do this, I will first make two copies of the vocal track. So, I'm going to tap on the mixer settings icon at the bottom left of the screen. And then I'm going to tap on the three dots on the vocal track and tap on duplicate. And I'm going to do it again. Tap on the three dots and tap on duplicate. So now I've got two extra tracks added. And because I'm going to use these two tracks as backing tracks, I'm going to pan one to the left and one to the right using the pan knob. So just drag down on that one, bring that 100% left and drag up on this one 100% right. I'll tap on the mixer settings icon again and then I'm going to double tap on one of these two backing tracks. And at the bottom of the screen, I'm going to tap on effects. And I'm going to tap on the plus icon. And then at the top of the screen, I'm going to tap on the plus icon again. And then I'm going to scroll through the tabs at the top. And I'm going to tap on the pitch shift tab. And then tap on multi shifter. Now it might look complicated to begin with, but it's quite simple really when you get into it. And for creating backing tracks, I recommend using the octave up and octave down and the four semitones up and the five semitones down. And the reason is that all these notes are from the same chord. And to make the most of the multi shifter, I'm going to use different settings for both of my backing tracks. So on this track, I'm going to use one up and one down. And on the other track, I'm going to use one up and one down. So for this one, I'm going to use the octave up and the fifth down. So if you look at the settings here already, the fourth up is set to 30%. So I'm going to drag that one back down. So it says 0% on the fourth up and I'm not using the octave down. So I'm going to drag that to the left. So that is on zero. I am going to use the fifth down. So I'm going to drag that back to 30%. Thereabouts, because BandLab doesn't make it very easy to get exactly 30%. And I'm going to use the octave up. So I'm going to drag the dot on the octave up to the right until I got 30% on that one. Thereabouts. Now I'm going to leave the input type to vocal. There are two other types, but they're not really relevant to this one. And because I just want the harmonies as the backing track and not the main vocals, I'm going to set dry to zero. So I'm going to be the dot on the dry slider to the left. And now that I've set up the harmonies for this track, I'm going to click on the back arrow. Then I'm going to click on X. Then I'm going to double click on the other backing track. Click on FX. Click on the plus icon, plus icon, scroll through, click on pitch shift again, then click on multi shifter again. And for this one, I'm going to use octave down and four up. So the octave down is already on 30%. The fifth down is on 60, so I don't want that one. So I'm going to drag that dot on the fifth down slider to the left, so it's back on zero. And the fourth up is already on 30%, so that one's fine. And I don't want the main vocals in there again, I just want the harmonies, so I'm gonna drag the dot on the dry slider to the left, so it says zero on that one. So now I've got a fourth up and an octave down, so I've got one up and one down, just like on the other track but they're both slightly different, so it should give some more interesting harmonies. So now that I've finished doing my harmonies, I'm going to click on the back arrow again. Click on the X icon. Now there is one last thing that I do like to do when I'm setting up harmonies, and that is to set up auto pitch. So I'm going to click on my main vocal track, double click on the header of that, click on auto pitch, 
and I'm going to set it to D major because that's the key scale of my song. So click on where it says chromatic, click on major, click on D. So it now says D major at the top. Then I'm going to drag on the knob icon upwards until it says about 70%. Then I'll click on the X icon and then I'm going to basically do the same on the two backing tracks. So set them to major D, drag up on the knob icon until it says 70%. Click on the X and do the last one. Auto pitch D major, drag up on the knob icon until it says 70%. Set your heart upon the sea Broke the chains and set me free 